My name is John Hernshaw and I'm a Professor of Astronomy here at the University of Canterbury and I work on stars. I'm actually active in five different areas and of course all academic staff at a university they teach and they do research. So those are two of the things I do and I teach astronomy and some physics and when it comes to research I I'm particularly interested in planets orbiting other stars, called extrasolar planets. So in recent years that's been the main focus of my research, which uses Mount John Observatory. I've been writing quite a lot of books, so writing books is something I enjoy doing. And these are mainly academic books um, for serious astronomers, but I like writing for the public too, but different kind of book. Um, Another thing I've done is I've been promoting astronomy in developing countries for the last uh, 10 years and that's been a job with the International Astronomical Union and I've been chair of a committee for the worldwide development of astronomy. So every year, I've, I just finished doing that job, but every year for the last 10 years up till now I've been going once or twice a year to an interesting place and giving lectures and pr promoting astronomy for, for developing countries. I can tell you some of the places I've been, um, Mongolia, Cuba, Uzbekistan, North Korea. In the beginning I was born in Wellington in 1946 and when I was two years old I went to UK. I grew up there and I left Britain at the age of 21 after a degree in physics, which I did in, in Cambridge. And I did my PhD in Australia, and I wanted to go to Australia because my mum was an Aussie. She came from Perth, so Australia was always a sort of attractive place for me to think about. So I went to Canberra, did a PhD in 68 to 72. Then, like most um, young scientists, you look for postdocs, and my first postdoc was in Paris. So I spent um, two and a half years at the Paris Observatory in the early 70s. That was a fantastic experience. By that stage I had a wife and a young daughter, so we loved living in France. And then um, another postdoc, this time uh, at Harvard in Massachusetts. So another fabulous two years. And then I came back to New Zealand in 1976 after two postdocs. So I've been at the University of Canterbury ever since. I've always loved astronomy. It's such a fascinating subject. So when I was a small boy, my dad gave me a telescope. And it was actually one he had himself, which my grandfather had given my father. So it's, it's 100 years old. So not, a very good, not a very good telescope. It's a three-inch refractor. I still have it. Occasionally I still use it, but there are much better telescopes on the market these days, but I used to look at the moon and draw pictures of craters and that was fun. This was published in 1986 and um, it's now out of print and out of date, so I've been rewriting the second edition which will be about 50% bigger. So it's, it's this book plus another 200 odd pages. So um, I submitted that a couple of months ago. Cambridge University Press. So um, it's about the story of stellar spectroscopy and how stellar spectroscopy de developed over the last um, 150 years, but the new edition is over the last 200 years, going up from up to the year 2000. So this only went up to 1970s. So that was my first uh, serious book, and I've written a few others since, but uh, now the second edition is that one. Astronomy is a subject the public love to hear about and in fact just at the moment um, I'm organising a starlight festival in Tekapo to celebrate um, our dark sky reserve which we created last year.